Embedded C and Embedded System Question and Answer Part 6 If you want to join any of our forum you can always welcome to join and if you are not subscribed to this channel you can do subscribe. What is segmentation fault in C? Before that this uh, Embedded System and uh, Embedded C interview question and answer the playlist has been created. This is a part 6 video we have uh, given uh, until part 1 to part 5 so you can also go by this and uh, we have roughly drafted uh, 10 parts uh, that is what are the most uh, frequently asked question in the interview uh, interview question with respect to the embedded C and uh, embedded systems alright so if you go through these 10 parts of course you can you can easily crack the embedded C uh, interview part alright so this is the sixth part and all the five parts you can find in the the description as well as you can find this playlist in our channel alright so first one is what is segmentation fault in C a segmentation fault is a very common fault that causes program to even crash. A core file that is core dumped file also associated with the segmentation fault that is used by the developer to finding the root cause of crashing that is segmentation fault. Generally segmentation fault occurs when a program tries to access the memory location. So this is one of the important uh, key point uh, with respect to the segmentation fault whenever the particular uh, program tries to access the memory location that that particular memory location is not allowed or not accessed by the program then it will uh, crash the program itself so that is what the segmentation fault is all right so see this is uh, it will be looks like this so it could be keep on running and if the particular program uh, tries to uh, access the memory then it will get the segmentation fault that is the program will crash what are some common cause for the segmentation fault arrow in C? Okay, so we have seen what exactly the segmentation fault is. But what is the root cause for the segmentation fault? So it's a dereferencing null pointers. Try to write read only memory in a, you know, read only memory is only to read. If you try to access, if you try to write something, then again, it will uh, cause the segmentation fault. Trying to access a non-existent memory address. Say for example, the memory address is 0, 2, 0 cross uh, 4E. If you are trying to access 0 cross uh, you know, DE, then uh, as there is no memory address like this, so it will create a segmentation fault. Trying to access the memory, that program does not have a rights to access. Dereferencing the freed memory. A stack overflow is also called caused by the segmentation fault. And the final the buffer overflow, there is a two, two overflows, one is stack overflow, another is the buffer overflow. It's try to access the array beyond the boundary array. Again, it is also comes like a memory address. If it goes beyond, if something is uh, tries to access beyond the range, then uh, segmentation fault occur in the C. Okay, so what is exactly the difference between segmentation fault and bus error? Generally, segmentation fault occurs when the program tries to access the memory. Of course, we have uh, seen in the previous slide, memory to which it doesn't have access to. The bus of error issue occurs when a program tries to access an invalid memory or unaligned memory. So, invalid memory is different and uh, the particular program is not have the access is different. And here also we have meant it's a boundary. It's it's going out of the boundary. It's going out of boundary is no, uh, not like uh, invalid memory. So invalid memory is something is not at all valid with respect to the particular program or unaligned. So it's not aligned. The bus error comes rarely as compared to the segmentation fault. So segmentation is holds a common error that uh, have been uh, given in the first slide. But bus error is a rare one. What is stack overflow error in C? This error may occur if the program tries to access the memory beyond its available maximum limit. Again, it's more or less uh, same, right? It's like uh, uh, we have uh, seen the previous one segmentation for bus error. So it's more or less same, but the minute difference you can find. See, this is tries to the program tries to access the memory beyond its available maximum. Limit. It is uh, memory beyond the particular program maximum limit. All right, so uh, this one. The segmentation is something it's uh, it's accessing the see for example if this is a left hand side it's a program right hand side is another program this left hand side program is trying to access this right hand side program beyond its memory then you can get the segmentation fault if there is some invalid memory if you try then you'll get the bus, bus error 
its stack flow is nothing but if the program tries to access the memory beyond its say for example this uh, program that is the left side program has only uh, some uh, say for example 10 MB is the maximum limit but it's it want to access particular uh, uh, variable or the particular location of the array or whatever it is it, it consists of 20 MB then the stack overflow error will occur so because it, it will keep on count it will keep on stack it one by one as uh, it reaches 10 MB but still there is some data to be retrieved then it will give the stack overflow the stack has been overflowed so that's it we can also say that if a pointer exceeds the stack limitation again the pointer also denotes the memory when this error occurs the program terminates and does not execute further instruction so say for example if it is a hundred lines program if the particular execution is 70th line it will just uh, stop the execution and uh, it will not uh, it will just exit from the execution it will not execute the further instructions therefore we must be very careful while using the pointer and limit boundaries what is the cause of stack overflow again what is the cause so we have seen the segmentation and uh, cause same what is the cause of stack overflow in the embedded application we have a little amount of stack memory of course that's what the example i have given is a 10 mb so in the memory in the embedded system you will you'll always used to have very minute uh, you know the 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 particular uh, s memory is comparably lesser than any other application because it want to execute very faster so always the there will be very little amount of stack memory as compared to the other applications so we have to work on the embedded application very carefully either we can face the stack overflow issues that can be caused of the application to crash some of the common causes that is uh, unwanted use of stack is improper use of recursive function so recursive keep on it will keep on execute uh, without uh, having any purpose pausing too much of arguments it's uh, not a two it's a double o pausing too much of arguments in the function pausing in structure directly into the function then nested function calls then creating huge size local array all right so this is uh, this is all the overall cause of the stack overflow and i hope this video helps you uh, a bit so you can just uh, go through all the play the playlist all the videos in the playlist so you can get some idea on how the embedded questions and how you can answer it so we can also follow for the another four or five video tutorials so once that done we'll start with the coding level so we'll just have a code and we'll uh, we'll just have raise a query on that we'll solve it all right so after this playlist completion we'll jump into the particular um, stuff all right so if you want to uh, subscribe you can subscribe and if you you can chat to your friends and you can join any of the forums and catch you on the next video until then bye take care